now for the presentation of the Billy Hitchcock Championship Trophy for the Southern League title. Here's the Southern League President, Mr. Don Mincher. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being here. What a baseball game. Oh, man. It's really something. For the 2010, for the second year in a row, I'd like to present the Southern League Championship Trophy to Mr. Peter Bregan, Jr. and Mr. Tim Leeper, if you will come out and accept the trophy. Tim, on behalf, I'd like to present this to you. Congratulations, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, just keep it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. While I've got this, I would like to announce, please, the 2010 most valuable player in the championship series, Jeff Corsoletti. Congratulations to the Jacksonville Sun. We're here with Peter Reagan Jr., the general manager and president of the Suns, and Pedro, back-to-back -back titles. That's so sweet, isn't it? Uh, hey, Mr. Jr., we're going to bring you to these players, and the great job they're going to do, finding players all over the country, and bringing them here to Jacksonville. Suns manager Tim Leeper. This year, 53 different players played for this team. Would you ever imagine this would have happened? I, I don't think a lot of us did. I mean, in the room, we definitely did. We knew day in, day out we were going to win. And I think it was the kind of chaos that these guys kind of thrived in. You look at it right now, they were close all year. I mean, what a great moment, a great moment for, for a lot of guys. I, I couldn't ask to be around a better group of people all the way around. I'm so fortunate. This is a great, great night. The pitching in this series was second to none. Tonight was about the same thing from Jose Rosario and the bullpen again, but boy, pitching really was dominant this entire season. And everybody stepped up when they had to, and it's funny, it was kind of the Hun Sun guys, and everybody came in expecting, you know, Tommy with the 16 wins and Eli with the ERA champs, and those are the guys that are really going to do it. But it's these guys, Rosario and Han, through yesterday, and, you know, Sandy Rosario closing it out for us. I mean, these guys, everybody stepped up, and when you win these, they don't so many things out, they make you earn them, and these guys stepped up there. Oh, and they got Leaper with a shaving cream. <laughs> Leap, congratulations. Thank you so much. Let's get Jeff Corsoletti real quick. The MVP of the championship series. Where's Corso? There he is. Jeff Corsoletti was sitting at home in the month of June in Sarasota. The Marlins called, signed him as a free agent, and it has been a whirlwind few months, hasn't it? It's been great, man. You know, they told me they used to meet at Jacksonville. I knew, how, I knew how good of a place it was to play at, and you know, it hasn't let me down. This is the best place to play, the best fans. You know, coming out here every day, you guys make it easy for us. We appreciate it. We could not do it without you. We'll try to do it again next year. Thank you. Corso, you had an awesome series, outstanding series, but it was almost out of nowhere. You went back to Greensboro, tried to help the charge there. You came here late in the season. What changed for you in the last couple of weeks? You know, being around these guys it was so much fun. It's the best fun I ever had. You know, it's just coming to the clubhouse every day, you look forward to it. I've been in a lot of teams where you, know, you come to the yard and you're not looking forward to playing, but just coming out here every day and being with these guys, playing in front of these fans in this great yard, it's, you know, it just makes it easy to play. And I think that the less you have to worry, the more fun you're having, the better you're going to do. And, you know, that's just what I've been doing. It's been working out well. Jeff, congratulations. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Jeff Corsoletti, the most valuable player of the Southern League Championship Series. We'll send it back to John Lear. And for those on the radio, we'll be back right after these.